Hello everyone, so going to attempt to do a lesson I did record one the other day and um, for some reason there was no sound on it so uh, hopefully the sound issue is fixed and um, you'll actually be able to hear what I'm saying. So I've worked out a way of doing the 24 form so that we can do it on the spot just about. Uh, I'll explain that when we get to it. Um, this lesson is probably more for people who are already doing classes or already know a little bit of Tai Chi. Um, if you've just joined in, just have fun with it really. Um, yeah, just have fun and um, do what you can. You won't be able to do all of it, so just do what you can. So we're going to start off with our blossom. This is There is a separate video with this on so that you can follow it and learn it. Uh, so we're going to start with blossom and then some breathing and, and warm up and, and then I'll explain how we're going to do this uh, 24 while we're doing online sessions. So starting with uh, posture first. So just making sure that we've got nice straight spine, dipping the chin slightly to straighten the neck, shoulders nice and relaxed, weights pulling the elbows down but Bit of space in the armpits, relax knees and hips, relax feet and toes not curled up, not scrunched up. So nice and relaxed, flat, flat feet and toes. Nice deep breath, concentrate on breathing for a minute. Again, there's another video with breathing on. We've done this a couple of times now. Using the belly, breathing in and pushing the air down. Blowing the balloon and as you breathe out, sucking the balloon in. So take a nice deep breath in. And as you breathe out, opening, so I'm mirroring like I would in a class. Part of the horse's mane. Cloud hands. Pulse the monkey, reverse reading arms. Brush knee push. Circle to the left. Step to the left corner, part of the horse's mane, sand toes to 12, same to the other corner. Just small steps. Cross hands, just to the shoulders, and then body straining as the hands come down. Closing. Very really good. Right, step back so you can see my feet. And we'll do a bit of a, a warm up. During the warm up, really focus on the breathing. This helps clear the mind a little bit. Those that are having trouble with the mindfulness and clearing sort of mind chatter and things, it's a really good exercise just to really concentrate on the breathing and the movements that you're making for your warm up. Um, you may not completely clear your mind of thoughts, just accept that. Don't get frustrated by it because that's you'll never move on from that if you get frustrated by it so nice and calmly just accept that you are thinking about things and then don't dwell on that for or, or make a story from it so nice and relaxed nice deep breaths and slowly looking up and down Uh, 
and back. And down. Slowly to the center, then to one side. And the other. Again. Come back to the centre again. And then dipping the ear to the shoulder. Not literally, of course, because most of us can't do that. It's nice and slow so you don't go dizzy. And relax. And then just going to breathe in. And out. So remembering, of course, when we're doing this at home, you just need to be careful of um, furniture and things. Step, especially if you're stepping backwards. And children, husbands, dogs, cats, whatever else you may have wandering around your house. I'm going to open the chest. It's quite a nice stretch when you're sitting indoors, not doing a lot actually. Breathing in. And really stretch right back if you can. And breathing out. Remember to do everything to your own capability. So if you can't lift up your hands to shoulder level, you can't stretch back because of back problems. Just be aware of that and do it to what you know that you can. And another one. And then we're going to take the hands right round. We're going to roll the shoulders right over. This sort of a, a whole sort of upper body stretch and movement. So you're arching your back as the hands come forward. Breathing in. And out. In. And out. And one more. And really arch your back on the last one. And then we're going to go back. Really opening up. Do one more of those. So we're going to lift up in the center. Just join the fingers, push down. Take the hands around. This is a new one. Um, I quite enjoy this one actually. It feels quite nice. And hands down. So breathing in. Breathing out. This is part of, this is used in the five elements as well. Breathing in. It's the Qigong set. And out. In. Out. Remember again, if you've got shoulder problems or anything, just take the hands lower. And stretch out as best you can. One more. Breathing in. Out. Keep hands together. 
roll that ball up. Point, just nice and lightly point the hips forward. If you've had any hip replacements or anything, or you have a lower back problem, either not so much or don't do it, do it within your, again, do it within, within your abilities. And then back. Some people do a hip roll here, um, but I do know quite a few people have had hips done, so it's not a good idea. Definitely don't do this one if you've had hip replacement. Push into the side. And the other. And then relax in the center. And if your balance is not so good, just keep the toe on the floor. It's been a long time since we did this one, but we have done this one. This is a sort of hip opening exercise. If you can, if you've got balance and you can lift your foot up, even in semi a little bit, just lifting up. The higher you can lift that knee without falling over, I'm a great example, um, the more of a, a hip opening stretch you're going to be able to get. Obviously be really sensible with this. I don't want anyone falling over at home needing to go to hospital. So again, can't stress enough, only do what you, you know you're capable of. It's one of those again that you could actually hold on for. You do one side at a time. And then the other. If you do have hip problems, you may find this a bit of a problem, so don't do it. Hip replacements again, not a good idea. But if you're um, fit and well, there's no reason why you can't do that. And relax. And then we're just going to, this helps loosen the wrists, and we're going to do a foot at the same time. If you can't balance, you could do hold on. Do one hand, one foot, change over. Or you could just do the hands and then hold on and do the feet separately. Go the other way. Good one to practice when cleaning your teeth at night. And then change sides. So going back the other way with hands. And then change direction again with both. And we are on the relax and just make sure the shoulder's nice and down. Again, with these, as Tai Chi is something that we're not really doing much in class, but I do notice that people need to think of. So we need to make sure that our weight is going backwards behind the knees. Um, so those that have done squat exercises and things will know what I mean. So you're thinking about an imaginary chair and you're pushing backwards, but trying to keep the back straight to sit on that chair. Uh, same with Tai Chi, the more you go down, the more that weight has to go backwards but without tipping the hip to an angle so the hip has to straight take stay straight down speak English um, and the knees follow the toes just doing this extra safety stuff online because it's stuff that we don't um, always think about um, but if you're on your own it's something you need to be looking at because I can't see you so that done let's talk about 24 so what we're going to do for the 24 is we're going to call 12 o'clock that way. So I'm going to do the 24 from the side. So whether you're doing front or back, you'll be able to see me, we hope. And we're not going to start facing three o'clock because then it means that you're going to be facing away from me and you're having to sort of crane your neck around to see what I'm doing. So we're going to start this the same as we normally do the 42. So we'll do our opening commencement. But what we're going to do is we're going to turn that right foot out to form our ball, left hand underneath, and then we'll do a step for our first part of the horse's mane. Then we come back, we're going to bring that foot back, 
but we're going to place the foot so that it's at an angle. And then we'll do our second part of the horse's mane. So this is going to take some getting used to. Put the heel down, turn the foot. Step. Obviously, if you've got lots of space and you can do three or four steps forward, then do three or four steps forward. If you've got the space to do the entire uh, form in the way that it should, should normally be done, then obviously go ahead and do that. Most of us, I'm suspecting, have um, about as much space as I've got or less. So let's have a go. We'll see how it goes. Send me a message um, or put something in the comments and let me know if this worked for you or if it's not worked for you or if you want me to change angle it <coughs> in any way or do it from behind, whatever, whatever. Bear in mind that when we get past the middle of the form, if I'm doing this from behind, you're not going to be able to see anything from six o'clock, uh, which is most of the end of the form, which, unless you know it really well, um, could cause a bit of a um, confusion. So let's have a go. Have a laugh with it. Let's see if it works. I don't know any more than you do whether this is going to work or not. So we'll start feet together. Thinking about posture, hips behind the knees, deep breaths, chin slightly dipped. I'm going to open left leg, commence one. I'm going to turn on that right foot, so the right foot's turned to the corner, left hand under the ball. Step out, park horse's main one. Bring the foot back, turn on the heel, right hand under the ball, palm the horse's mane. Same again, foot back, turn on the heel, left hand under, part the horse's mane. Then for the white crane, we're going to do the half step forward. White crane. And then the transition comes in, step, brush knee push, and it's the left brush knee push, step back, right brush knee push again, just remembering that you're putting that heel down so your foot's at 45 degrees, heel down, toes at 45 degrees, left brush knee push, then a half step, and strum the loot. Step back, repulse monkey. All we're going to do, we're going to do one step back to the centre. And then we're going to do the last, the next three, with our feet still. So that's number two. Three. Turn the right foot to 45 degrees again, like the start from the left hand under the ball. Grasp the sparrow's tail, grasp the bird's tail, put your pun first, then your loo. Move the weight from the waist, G. Roll back, and palm. I'm going to hold the triangle, and we will come around to six o'clock. Right hand under the ball. Palm. Lou. G. And roll back. Palm. Holding triangle again. Single whip. Back round to 12. Cloud hands. We are going to do this at three o'clock. So swapping on the right. When the hands get to the left, the right foot comes in. You might do this as a 10 form. Um, cloud hands actually. So step out on the left. And step in on the left. Step out with the right foot. Step in with the right foot, and we're going to do single whip again. And 
then high hat on horse. And then a kick or step with the right. And the double into the ears. I'm going to turn around. Now the floor. A kick or step with left. Right hand is now in the hook, left hand is pointing to the right elbow. And then we're going to do snake creeps through the grass. Two, six. Rooster. So again, adjusting the feet where you need to. So you're going to be facing away from me now. Left hand's in the hook, right hand pointing to the left elbow. Snake again, back to six o'clock, so the side on. Rooster. We're going to put the foot down to the centre, step back with the right. Four, with the right hand underneath. Fair maiden weaves shuttles. Right corner. Then the left corner. Turning the feet back to six. Notice I'm dragging my feet back a little bit to keep room. Needle to C bottom. Fan through the back. Round. Make the right hand a fist, bring the right foot in. Stepping out, separate your hands, step and deflect. Step through, parry, let the joints and everything settle, and then into bow stance with punch. Open up, prepare and close. And we're just going to step back, cross hands. And close. Excellent. I hope that works. Obviously, there's quite a bit where you're going to be facing that way. So I'm thinking what I might do <clears throat> is now do it the other way. So 12 o'clock is that way. I hope you get used to it, don't I? Like changing directions. Right, I'm just going to turn my heater off because uh, I'm boiling. So I'll do the same again. <clears throat> Start facing 12. <clears throat> Obviously, a lot of this one I'm going to be turned that way away from you but then some of it you'll see because we're going to be turned towards the front. So from the beginning again, nice deep breaths, move that way a bit actually so you can see my feet, opening, commencement, turn on the right foot, Left hand underneath, heart course is made, left, foot back, turn the heel, heart course is made, right, foot back, turn the heel, left hand underneath, heart course is made, then the right crane, half step, take the wall to three. Turn the body. Transition. Brush knee push. Left. Bring the foot back, turning the toes. Brush knee push. Foot back, turn the toes out. Brush knee push. Half step. Strum the loot. Step back for Pulse Monkey. We'll just step back for the first one to the centre. And we'll do the next three on the spot. Nice 
from water, compound. And we're going to turn, left hand underneath, grasp the bird's toe, on, loop. Roll back. On. Hold. Right hand under. On. Six o'clock. Blue. G. Roll back. On. Single whip. Right hand in a hook, 12 o'clock. Turn back, we'll do our cloud hands like uh, 10 again. So we're going to do left foot step down, left foot step in, right foot step out. Right foot step in, second single whip. And then the high pat on the horse. Into kick or step with right heel. And double into the ears. So I'm into nine. Open hands, left foot back, kick or step with left, form a hook with the right hand, bring the left foot in, and then left hand points to the right elbow. To six o'clock, snake creeps through the grass, wrist on the left, left hand and hook, right hand points to the elbow. Snake again. Rooster on the right. And step back and form the ball. So the left bow starts, right hand under. Teapot, if you remember what we've been doing in class, fair maiden. Bring foot back. Left hand under, left foot in. Teapot. Fair maiden. Bring that foot back. Small little step with the right foot. Needle to seat bottom. Bring hands back. Turn through the back. And then turning through. Nine o'clock. Right foot in, right hand fist. Stepping out. Was 12, second flex, left hand and left foot through, parry, let everything settle, punch. Open the hand, roll back, arm, and we're just going to step back for our cross hands. And then close. Good. I think probably the first one was better, but do uh, correct me if I'm wrong on that. Uh, I did make a, a small footwork mistake on the cloud hands, uh, but obviously we're all getting used to this, so uh, forgive me. Um, let me know how that went for you, and um, we'll carry on with that if it works. While I'm here, let's have a go at the 42, which I'll do from the back as though a normal class. Uh, because why not? And then we'll do a 10, do the 9, um, and then that will be all for today. So 42. Again, just be sensible with the steps. If you need to step back, step back. Uh, if you can step forward, then step forward. So nice and light, it's 12 o'clock this way. Oh, it's a cobweb up there. Dipping your chin so you can't see cobwebs. Nice deep breaths. Opening, commencement, 
on the right heel, left hand under, on 12 o'clock, right hand under, on 3 o'clock, and the loop. G, around, one on the heel, 12 o'clock, on the hook with the right hand, single whip to nine. Open the hat, lifting hands, so centre line down the left, and lift up the right foot, white crane spreads wings. Transition, brush knee push. So we're going to do what we did for 24, and step back, turn the toes out. Brush and push. Then the right foot turns out. Left hand in a fist. Left corner. Open the fist, turn the toes to nine. Right over left. Press or G to the right corner. Turn the toes again. Left over right, hands back, left foot in, and G or press, left corner. Excellent. Look forward to being able to do more of that soon. <coughs> this that 42 is quite handy actually because that first bit is generally in a small area. So let's do 10. Um, again, we'll do it as we were doing in the class. So 12 o'clock over there. I can't see my finger. 12 o'clock over there. And um, yeah, nice deep breaths. Opening, commencement. Reverse reading arms. Brush knee push. I'm going to step forward after each of these so that you can still see my feet. So if you've got enough room and you're not going to walk into anything, you can just carry on doing it as normal. Left hand on the ball, part of the horse's mane. Horses main again. Cloud hands. This is how we should have done the last 24 with the right foot in, not the left. Step out left. Step in left. Step out right. Step in with the right. Rooster stands on left leg. And right leg. Form your triangle, kick or step. I'm going to do a step this time. So that you can copy if you want to do steps instead of kicks. Right hand underneath. Grasp the bird's tail, grasp the sparrow's tail. And then same to the other side. Cross hands. And close. 
Very good. Hopefully you found that OK. I am trying to learn that one so that um, I can do it mirrored. We'll see how that goes. Right, let's do nine. Nice deep breaths again. Very good. So this is obviously shorter than an oral lesson because um, there's no interaction. So uh, I can't ask questions and things. I can't really teach anything as such. Um, if there's anything you want to know about, let me know either in the comments or uh, send me an email or a message. Um, and I'll do those, whatever you want to do. If you want to do white crane or something in detail, we can do that. So just let me know. Um, Let's just have a, a quick cool down like we would normally do. So, a little up and down with the feet. And so, do the hands as well. And then side to side. You can just go around if you like. And change sides. And the other way. And relax. One foot forward. Stretching the back calf so the feet are straight. Pushing forward, but the, still keep the uh, principles of Tai Chi. So your body's nice and straight, spine straight, hips straight. Should be nice and comfortable. And then change sides. To the center. If you can hold on, great. If you don't want to hold on, you're going to have a go at balance, stretching the top of the leg, the thigh, and the other side. Also try to do this session so that you can uh, watch it <coughs> again. Um, gives you a chance to practice the um, the forms. So hopefully that's worked well as well. So we're going to stretch the lower back. So this time, just for change, we're going to put our hands on the hips so that you know you're bending in the right place. We should end up with a nice straight back. If you want to go <clears throat> down further, you can. Don't bring your head on the coffee table or something. Coming up slowly, move the head to last. 
being very careful if you have high blood pressure. And then when you're ready, reaching in front, pull forward and look down, stretch the top of the back. And some of these stretches are probably well needed after lots of time being in. Shoulders, just nice and lightly this time, not like the beginning. And the other way. You can always just, uh, if you have shoulder problems as well, you can always just go up and down and then forward and back if you can't do a roll. Nice and relax, look down. Look up. To the centre. Slowly to the side. And to the other side. Back to the centre. And some nice deep breaths to finish. Breathing in. Right. Okay. If you have any uh, photos of you doing any of my classes um, on your online, um, do put some photos on the a Facebook page if you're on there. Anyone can post on there. Breathing out. Breathing in. Breathing out. One more. And do it well. Thank you very much. Well done. And do join me for some more classes. Well done.